We've been talking for decades about scheduling a dental cleaning appointment. Did you know that there's actually five different types of dental cleaning appointments? The first cleaning appointment has to do with the fact that an individual might have uh, maybe not been into the dentist for a while and have built up a lot of calculus or tartar, the hard deposits that you get on your teeth. If there's so much of a buildup in that area that we can't take readings or periodontal probing depths in those areas, then we need to remove the majority of those deposits just so that we can get that information that we need. That appointment is actually called a gross debridement or a full mouth debridement, where the majority of those deposits are removed so that we can obtain a diagnosis. So that's one type of dental cleaning appointment. We're gonna push that one aside and that leaves us with four. This is Dr. Schur and I'm here at the dental office, Tranquil Dental. So now we're gonna talk about the other four dental appointments. Two of them deal with periodontal disease and the other two deal with a patient who doesn't have periodontal disease but instead has gingivitis. So periodontal disease is specifically defined by having two millimeters or greater of bone loss. You can have two millimeters of bone uh, of, or greater of bone loss in a specific area, which would be that it would be localized periodontal disease, or if you have it in the majority of the sites, then that's going to be considered um, generalized periodontal disease. So this individual you can see right here has a little more than two millimeters of um, bone loss right there. So that's our one determinant factor. Um, the sole determinant factor really with regards to whether a patient has periodontal disease or not. The next bit of information that we're always collecting is periodontal charting. And on the periodontal charting, there is so much information. There's mobility and forcation and mucogingival junctions and uh, free gingival margins and all of that kind of comes together. But generally speaking, if a patient has periodontal disease, they could have one of two situations. Either the disease is active right now or it's inactive right now. And the way that we know that it's active is by the sites that are bleeding and the pockets that exist. So for example, we have here areas that are bleeding and four millimeter pockets here. Or down here on this tooth, we've got some five millimeter pockets with some bleeding. So in this instance, that would be active periodontal disease. And so that would need to be treated. And the treatment would be scaling and root planing. Sometimes it's been termed deep cleanings. And so that is treatment for active periodontal disease. When you have had bone loss, so you have periodontal disease, but maybe it's not active right now. So there's no bleeding, the pockets are all doing um, great. We're in normal, healthy range, one, two, three millimeter um, probing depths. Then that individual's appointment is gonna be a periodontal maintenance appointment. It's an appointment where we're um, making sure that we're following the um, process, staying on top of it, and um, it's an indication that the disease at the present moment is inactive. So for active periodontal disease, it's gonna be scaling and root planing, and for inactive disease, it's gonna be peri uh, a periodontal maintenance appointment. And both of those are for a patient who has periodontal disease, which is bone loss. The other types, two types of appointments, are going to have to deal with an individual who does not have the bone loss, so does not have periodontal disease. If a patient um, is good and healthy, doesn't have any um, bleeding, um, or, and doesn't have really pocket depths, or maybe has some bleeding, some inflammation, but the pocket depths are in normal range, one to two to three millimeter pockets, 
um, not deeper than that, then that's gonna be a prophylaxis appointment. And that tends to be the appointment that people have associated with their dental cleaning for so long. If an individual though doesn't have bone loss, but does have some deeper pockets, some bleeding and some deeper pockets, then that patient has gingivitis and those deeper pockets are active disease process. And so we need to treat that and we treat that with an appointment called scaling in the presence of gingivitis. So I may have overloaded you today, but cleaning appointments are not one appointment. <laughs> cleaning appointments are five different kinds of cleaning appointments. So we have a gross debridement or a full mouth debridement where we're getting off the majority of those deposits so that we can get these numbers. They're so important for us to know whether someone's healthy or not healthy. Then the next four appointments are divided into two for gingivitis and two for periodontitis. Gingivitis means that there is not two millimeters or greater of bone loss. And so if you have gingivitis, either the process is active where we've got a lot of bleeding and deeper pockets, and so you need to treat that with scaling in the presence of gingivitis, or everything seems to be inactive at the moment, and so a normal prophylaxis is the appointment that would be uh, appropriate. And then for the periodontal disease, we've got active uh, disease, which means that there's bleeding and deep pockets. They need to be treated with scaling and root planing or inactive, and that's gonna be a periodontal maintenance appointment. So the next time that you visit if your dentist for a dental cleaning appointment, be sure to ask and find out what type of appointment is that?